Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Look, now, people may or may not know Marianne Butler. Mm. Um, she's pretty fab. Mm. Oh, what, oh, won all those awards. Just oh, won, my yeah, God. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, richest playwright in Australia. Oh, is she now? Is she the richest? I think Leah Purcell's up there now. She's just won a few awards. And there's David Williamson, but you know, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> um, but um, Marianne Butler, uh, fantastic kind of artist in the way she looks at things. But also, I think she's got a strong feminist position of the Very, work. Yeah. And, and throughout the throughout the festival, you can see this kind of feminist line that's going on. Mm. Uh, uh, as well, I think as a response to the Harvey Weinstein stuff, yeah. but even going back to when when candidate Trump talked about sexually assaulting women, you know, you go, what? And female artists uh, have responded in many ways throughout mm. the world. Uh, and not saying that Marianne's done that, but the idea of her responding to the story of Alice in Wonderland and talking about the Alice being active in her world rather than a passive receiver of you know male dominance on her or even in fact you know the queen of hearts kind of d dominating her how is alice an active part of her, her future again this is a brand new commission don't know where it's going to go but i love that dubs you the pingu is playing alice mm, yeah. so what does it mean to have an aboriginal woman playing alice in 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 this world and does her cultural background actually matter this is a much bigger discussion mm. you know does it mean that an uh, indigenous artist has to play an indigenous character mm. because of the politics of skin? Mm. Or is she allowed to, in this case, play anything she wants? And can we uh, kind of tra tra transfer our, uh, our belief of Alice, this kind of historical sense of Alice in Wonderland, onto this figure, even if she's an Aboriginal woman? Mm. Is this uh, a transgression of the story of Alice? Or is this actually us questioning our own kind of sense of um, uh, our belief and expectations of those roles. So yeah. is Marianne's playing a little bit with that Alice, I guess, being the site of all of that kind of mm. 14, 15 year old white girl with this older man writing some sort of <laughs> fetishized <laughs> well, story around, you know, there's a lot of talk about that, right? With Lewis yeah. Carroll and well, look at the you know, original it, Alice and so on. It'd be interesting to see how that works on stage and how a younger audience kind of plays that out. Because yeah. I imagine a young audience doesn't see it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I certainly didn't when I read it as a child. Yeah. yeah. But an older audience is able to layer up all these different understandings of stuff. And whether, in fact, by unpacking it, as Marianne is, is doing, by unpacking it, um, those who see all those layers can see them clearer or, or in fact lets them dissipate mm. but I don't think it'll change the experience for the younger audience at mm. all mm. I think they'll just uh, they'll say I remember seeing an Aboriginal Alice on stage in Alice in the Wonderland in uh, Alice in Wonderland and I thought it was brilliant yeah so yeah. as an older person you know in 10 15 years from now they'll look back and just go but that's normal yeah. and that's what I think the festival is all about yeah, yeah.